Netflix. Hey, breadheads! I didn't shoot a single thing this weekend, and it feels really weird. It's good to be back in front of the camera. See, I was supposed to shoot a parody of the fox, and a what does a fox say? Ring, ding, 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 ding. But I needed an actor who was two years old, and I don't know any two-year-olds. So like I said, good to be back in front of the camera. I'm gonna answer your questions that you posted on Hunger Games that I uploaded last Thursday. Mr. Sidelander says, why did you choose him to feature in your video? And I think you mean the actor, Nathan. He's my buddy. I like working with him. He makes me laugh. And he has a beard. And, and the President Snow has a beard too. So originally I was gonna make it all white and like put makeup on him and stuff, and that's too much work. So a guy with a beard, it looked enough like President Snow that he would play the part. The Epic Cool says, playing a TV remote control. STD. Inflamed nipples. Yeah, so what? I'm really good. Click. The Mech the Gun says, basically, have you ever thought about doing like a parody with a, like a crew and a cast and a bunch of actors who can really act and stuff? No! <laughs> See, I need to get videos out quick. I upload one every Thursday, and I upload a vlog every Tuesday, and they take time. And I have no money to hire real actors, and I'm shooting with a little Handycam, Sony Handycam cam, and I have a day job, so I can like just churn these out. I gotta come up with an idea, shoot it as quick as I can, and just sort of throw it together, and make it be funny, and then you guys like it. At least that's the plan. Tasha Robinson says, Brett Head Forever. Tasha, that's so cool, you made up a new hashtag, and it's all about me, and it's so cool, thank you. Eric says, what gives you the idea to do these great videos? Well, first of all, thanks for saying they're great. And usually I'll look at the trailer or listen to the song or something like that. Something will catch my attention. So like the video I'm doing on Thursday, which is of Ender's Game. I watched the trailer a bunch of times and I found something that caught my attention. I'm like, you know what? That's pretty funny. I'm Normal I Promise says, basically, Brett, why do you use green screen? Well, for the Carrie video where you're just like looking at a front door, I live in an apartment. My front door looks at a wall. It looks at another apartment and a little dark hall with no daylight and I wanted it to look like Carrie lived in a house with a spit I wanted it to look like Carrie lived in a house and so I had to make it look like a front door so I figured I'd just shoot it in my apartment in front of a green screen and have a shot in the background that I replaced on the green screen of just like a neighborhood it's super easy that way I don't have to worry about like birds coming by or airplane noises or the lighting is always gonna stay the same because when you're shooting a movie you probably don't know this the Sun keeps moving and your light keeps changing and it's Difficult. If a cloud goes in front of it, then one shot's gonna be dark and the other's gonna be light. There's wind and birds, and dogs barking, and all kinds of things. So that's why I use green screen. Plus, it's cool! I just bought a green screen and it works really well in iMovie. So I started actually taking shots around Los Angeles, wherever I am, and then I can use those as the background, like I shoot in front of a green screen and then I put that background in, and I can basically have shot like all these cool places in Los Angeles. But them's the questions you asked. Thank you very much for asking them. So this Thursday I'm uploading my parody of Ender's Game, but the Thursday after that, November 7, what do you think I should upload? I'm not sure. There's a movie that's come out, a new song you like, a video that's going viral, a new TV show. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the thingy thing. If you're not subscribed yet, please do. I'm really talking with my hands in this video. If you're not subscribed, please do. And I will see you on Thursday for my parody of Ender's Game.